Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tunix here today to uh, give you a quick uh, tutorial on the easy method of creating uh, custom or new skins for items um, via the new integrated Steam Workshop in Rust. Um, so you'll notice uh, in the latest build, um, if uh, when you load up the game, um, your home screen will now have this little workshop button here at the bottom. Um, so if you click on that, that will load up um, the workshop and here you can see items that people have created and submitted um, so far you can sort it by latest trending or popular um, but uh, this video is going to be just about how to make the very basic uh, versions of uh, some of these skins um, so we're not going to be looking at the in-depth um, skinning method but but just a very basic overview so you can give it a try yourself and um, sort of have a bit of fun with it and see what you can come up with. Um, I've previously created uh, the bean can helmet um, which uh, just using this very simple method which is currently I think it's trending on maybe the fifth page at the moment um, so it's doing, it's doing okay it was, I only really did it as a, a sort of test really to see uh, how it might come out but um, there it is it's this one here this is my um, Heinz beans uh, can helmet um, skin um, so that's what it looks like now but I'm, what I'm going to do now is just show you very quickly how I created this using the very simple method uh, which is basically just laying images over the top of existing skins um, and then editing them very slightly to sort of suit how you want your item to look so I'm going to go on to new item and just show you exactly how I did this so um, I'm going to call this uh, bean can test and uh, so this is, you can basically select any item you want. So if you wanted to do a t-shirt, for example, um, I'll just show you very quickly um, what I mean by just laying images over the top of these skins. So you've got all sorts of um, very basic tools here to um, change how you want uh, the item to look. But I'm just going to I'm going to leave all of these for now um, and not really go into too much detail on these because I just want to show you this uh, method for laying images over the top. So all you really need to do is this this uh, section here, diffuse. Um, if you clear the current texture that's on there um, and then click on the blank space which will take you into your, um, your your directory and you can then just navigate to the folder where you have stored the images that you want to play around with. So these are just a couple. Um, this one here I just wanted to use as an, as an example. It's just a picture of um, a galaxy. I just pulled it from Google. Um, so if I was to apply that, that would just lay that image straight over the top um, here um, to give you this kind of galaxy effect t-shirt. So that's just a very simple method. Now it gets a little bit more confusing with um, certainly with, with what I've done with my bean can helmet. So if we go on to, uh, it's actually a skin I've put over the coffee can helmet. Um, and then what I did, uh, you click on edit here at the top. I got rid of that one there. And um, I just put this image of a Heinz baked beans can over the top. Now it didn't look quite right because it was all sort of uh, upside down and, and uh, sort of not correctly laid over the top. So all I did was took the image into Photoshop. I'm not going to show you exactly how I did that because there's not really much point, but I just took it into Photoshop. First of all, flipped the image so that it was the other way around, went back into Rust and had a look at it then, which looked a bit better. But uh, on this side here, you can see there was still a bit of a gap. So I just pulled it round to the size a little bit more, stretched it, tried that a couple of times, a bit of trial and error to uh, until it came, uh, until I got the desired look. Um, and then this was the uh, final one that I used, which just kind of has the look I was hoping for, which just looks like the can is up, right? You've got the top of the can there, the bottom of the can there, and it fits around the, the uh, the, the mask pretty well. So that was just a really that, that's the really basic method for putting skins over the top of um, or images over the top of these skins to create very very basic custom items. Um, you've, you you can look at these advanced options here. So if I wanted to make this, uh, you, you know you can change the glossiness. If you uh, obviously that you wouldn't want a glossy can, but if, if whatever item you're making you know a PVC top or something, you want that to you might want that to look a bit glossy. So you can play around with all of the settings here. Um, to uh, until you get the, the uh, sort of desired effect that you're looking for, um, but yeah, that, that's just a really basic method for creating these custom skins. Um, I'm going to do another video at some point looking at the more advanced methods, so um, putting uh, or, or adding textures and colors to uh, 3D polys of these. So, but that's a, a much more advanced thing that we're going to look at a little bit later. But this is just a really advanced, uh, sorry, really basic method for creating these skins in Rust. 
So once you're finished with the item and you're pleased with how it looks, all you would then need to do is click on publish here at the top. Um, click on publish and then again click on publish down here now I'm not going to click it because I've already uploaded this I don't want to upload it twice but what that will then do is uh, that will upload your skin to the Steam Workshop um, for the community to vote and have a look and see what they think um, when you do click publish it will open uh, your web browser it will open Steam um, and it will ask you as long as you're logged into your Steam account it will ask you for your bank account details and the reason for that is because if your item gets chosen um, to be used in the game uh, you will receive a percentage of the fees um, or percentage of the money paid by people for that item as and when it's published so so anyway that's just a really quick uh, overview on how to simply uh, create custom skins yourself for rust um, I really hope you liked the video uh, if you did please please leave a like and um, subscribe to my channel um, and uh, if you like the coffee can as well um, I'll put a link in the description below but it would be awesome if you could go and give that a thumbs up on the Steam uh, workshop page as well um, thanks for watching guys see you later